A year and a half ago, Martin Hammerlick was a blue chip prospect with the Hartford Whalers. He was knocking on the NHL's door, but a near fatal illness shut it. While at Whalers training camp, Hammerlick contracted Lyme's disease. And even though he was young and in great shape, doctors gave him only a 5% chance to live. But four months later, he beat the disease and the odds, and the long road back began. One wouldn't know it to watch him today, but the disease hit Hammerlick so hard, he couldn't even move, much less skate. I think that the doctors in Czechoslovakia uh, did a good job because uh, I bring report from my sick to America and doctors were surprised because uh, most, most uh, times happen that people die for this. And uh, uh, after uh, I get about five months rehabilitation because I learn again walk, like, uh, learn again uh, skating. Actually, six months ago, I couldn't skate. I just learned again skate, everything. Support was everything as well. All he wanted to do was get back in the ice. And the support his mother gave made him all the more determined to do so. Uh, my mom, she really helped me because she, she moved to me to hospital to Prague and she lose job. She stayed with me over f all three months there, give to me food every day because I couldn't move with my arms, hands, nothing. Uh, I think you know, she really helped me. There's already NHL blood in the Hammerlick clan. Martin's younger brother, Roman, plays defense for Tampa Bay. And even though he's had to learn everything all over again, an NHL career is still within Martin's reach as well. I think that uh, his, uh, his overall ability will probably improve by playing more and more. But you have to, you have to recommend the determination, the kid, to overcome what he did to be the hockey player he is right now. Rob Sinclair, TSN, in Ottawa.